Hi friends and welcome to Voltamin. Today's experiment is all about comparing a massive supercapacitor to a regular electrolytic capacitor and seeing how much energy they can store. Powering four DC motors and testing how long they run. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to Voltamin for more exciting experiments. Hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. What crazy test should we try next? Capacitor comparison. The supercapacitor, rated at 2.7 volts and 500 farads, is an absolute energy beast. Just look at its size. It's not just big. It's a monster when it comes to storing charge, capable of delivering massive bursts of power that regular capacitors can't even come close to. On the other hand, there's a small capacitor rated at 10 volts and 1,000 microfarads, much smaller in both size and storage capacity. To grasp just how insane this difference is, imagine this. One farad equals 1 million microfarads, so 500 farads equals 500 million microfarads. That means the supercapacitor holds 500,000 times more charge than the small one, half a million times more storage. That's like comparing a swimming pool to a tiny cup of water. Voltage measurement with the multimeter set to DC voltage mode, the supercapacitor measures 2.52 volts while the small capacitor holds 1.59 volts. Setting up the motors. Here are four DC motors, each capable of running from one volt to 10 volts DC. They're fixed to the wooden board, wired in parallel, and connected to the supercapacitor. A switch is added to control the circuit making it easy to start and stop the test. The final test. An iPhone timer is placed next to the setup and the moment of truth, power on. The motors spin instantly, running only on the stored energy of the supercapacitor. Now it's all about seeing how long they last. Results and conclusion. As the seconds turn into minutes, the motors keep spinning. Finally, after an incredible 14 minutes, the motors slow down significantly. At this point, there's barely any energy left, and the test is stopped. This proves just how powerful supercapacitors can be. Unlike regular capacitors, they can store and release largely, making them perfect for high-power applications. Enjoyed this experiment? Show some love by hitting the like button. Subscribe to Voltamin for more awesome electronic experiments and drop a comment on what tests you'd love to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next experiment.